Good morning, Mac the Conception. I'd like to welcome back everyone back here on this Monday, April 27th. Yes, the weekend's over and the start of a new week, and this is the last week of April. So let's hopefully are doing great in it. Get ready for the next month coming. I got a quick joke for you, so we can start off real quick with a joke. Why did the zombie, why didn't the zombie go to school? And it had nothing to do with the coronavirus, okay? Let's just leave that one out. Thank Why you. didn't he go to school? He felt rotten. Felt rotten, you know, they kind of stink. Well, anyway, let's move on <laughs> from the zombie joke. Guess that one didn't go over as well as I thought. <sighs> Anyways, let's turn it over now to Mrs. Bono and all the important announcements of the day. Hey, Mr. Coulard, we are joined this morning by the awesome middle school teacher, Mr. Weeks. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, um, well, Mr. Weeks is joining us and he'll probably give a shout out to his students, maybe give one more helpful hint or reminder to how they should um, continue to carry on. And maybe he'll share a little bit about where he hails from because I always say you can hear a little bit of an accent in Mr. Weeks' voice. Mr. Weeks, where are you from? I am from Iowa, specifically Sioux City, Iowa. And from my point of view, I think all of you guys have the accents. Really? Ah, oh, no but Minnesota. That's okay. No Minnesotan accent here, right? Yeah, um, not yet. I'm sure I'll get one soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are glad that you are up here in Minnesota and, um, and joining us on our staff. We've had a good year with you. Why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit about what your experience has been so far and who you want to give a special hello to. So I have loved Immaculate Conception and so far this virtual learning has been, it's been an interesting first year teaching, I've got to say. So my first thing is I want to say a shout out to all of my classes, which are fourth and fifth grade science. You guys have been doing an awesome job keeping up on everything so far. I know I don't get to see you very often, but keep up the good work and also middle school, especially sixth grade, my homeroom. I miss all of you a ton and keep up the hard work. We really have been doing pretty good for virtual learning so far. And I would say that for middle school, keep working hard on getting everyone in class. I know quite a few times when someone's not there, one of the other students texts them or sends them a message, says, hey, get online with us and let's have a Zoom meeting, which is great to see. And I will be seeing middle school soon for math and LA starting at nine o'clock just moments away absolutely yep. yes you mentioned the sixth grade class and they're just so much they're such a fun class so much personality and <laughs> Definitely. um i have been in and out of their zoom classes in the last couple of weeks and really enjoy seeing them and he is right of course mr weeks is right <laughs> that you are you're supposed to be coming to those classes sixth seventh and eighth graders so that's, that's part of the requirement. And I know this is, as I've mentioned many times, we're all still adjusting to the situation. And none of us would choose this, I'm sure, over, over being in school together. Um, and parents particularly, and of course students, want you to know that we are making some final decisions on just how to conclude the year, and then also how to do a lot of special things for our graduating eighth grade class. All of you are special, but when our eighth graders conclude their time at Immaculate, we want to make sure we do some things that are unique for them, like we would do if we were in session. So stay tuned on that, please. And speaking of eighth graders, I do have, it's the last prayer that I have in the grouping of prayers that were written and turned in to Ms. Tony Nato, but this one is beautiful. It's by Adela. In fact, Adela writes so beautifully in Spanish that I had to translate it. And I hope that I translated it correctly, Adela. And she wrote, today, my God, we all need to live. May we all be healthy and may we not lack anything right now. Now, more than ever, we pray that this virus will go away and stop hurting innocent people. That is why we ask you to protect our families and close friends. Virgin Mary, protect us with your holy cloak and free us from this disease. Have mercy on us all. Amen. Amen. Well, 
Once again, I'm, uh, our eighth graders are stellar and I have some ideas on how we are going to uh, work with them in these uh, morning announcements as the weeks go on. <clears throat> so speaking of Adela and her beautiful way of um, speaking English and, and teaching us some Spanish along the way, we do have a birthday today and it's Jose Huerta. Jose is one of our wonderful custodians at Immaculate Conception. And Jose is always trying to teach me Spanish. <laughs> and um, I've told him that I think I'm speaking Spanglish because I'm trying to learn to learn. And um, so I was kind of laughing about that. And I remember this, this book that was given to me a few years ago. Um, and it's called Pardon My Spanglish. And this man who wrote it is a Spanish speaker. And it's about, um, uh, Spanglish is the Reese's peanut butter cup of languages, two great languages um, that are going to be even greater together. So I, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to learn some Spanish. Please be patient with me. And in between now and then, I'm afraid um, it's a little bit more Spanglishy. But I did look up for sure how to say happy birthday to Jose in Spanish, and that's Feliz Complianos. So Jose, thanks for the awesome work you do at Immaculate Conception. He takes such good care of us. We love Jose. Um, okay, uh, anything else we can think of there, Mr. Coulard, Mr. Weeks? I was just gonna say, at least this is a, a day where we have guys rule. You know, it's two to one now, finally. It's the first time I think on the message where it's guys rules and girls drools. Well, no, well, I know. <laughs> anyway, um, I do um, want to have an idea about if you're at home and you're bored, you can't think of anything to do, uh, go to Super Joy Adventures. He comes up with all kinds of ideas of different things that he's doing during this uh, pandemic and staying at home. So if you uh, need an idea or two, just scroll through all the different adventures of Super Joy. So yeah. he's always having a good time. Super Joy is really awesome. The other day he's playing solitaire. I've got to tell you, that's one of my things I do at night. I play some solitaire. <sighs> um, funny thing I thought about Super Joy um, a little while ago, right in my neighborhood out this window, there's a guy who used to go to our school and he went riding by on his bike, but it, it was kind of different because the dog was pulling him. His dog <laughs> In, maybe some of you can guess, uh, this is Arjun, who lives not too far from me, and he was um, being pulled by his dog. I thought that was kind of a good thing. Maybe it, that's something like Super Joy could do. Maybe, well, he has walked dogs. I think he's dog, walked a dog named Luna, which is Mrs. Blake's dog. Oh, that's right. So. I, heard, I heard that some people are a little bit concerned about Luna. Luna's a very vicious dog to <laughs> males, so I think it was raised by women, so it just, he's, oh, anytime he Mr. Clark, yeah. careful. Well, I'm just saying is that the dog barks really mean every time a guy comes by. So. Oh, yeah. Well, Mrs. Blake said it's a real peaceful dog, except when Mr. Coulard is there. <laughs> well, that's her interpretation. <laughs> oh, dear. I think we better stop. Okay, <laughs> maybe, we should go, maybe we should go for a prayer here and I we can end it. So if you could join us in the glory beat. Yes. In the name of the Father. Are we going to do the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's do the pl pledge first. I'm sorry. I've got my flag right here. Mrs. Bone, I'm glad you're on top of everything. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we can go to the prayer. Uh, as we said, we got one more week this week of April, so we're with the glory be in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Also, if you can keep in your prayers today uh, for the priest of the day, and his name is Father Mark Pavlik. P-A-V-L-A-K. So Father Mark Pavlik, keep him in your prayers, Father James and Father John, and everyone as we talked about with the coronavirus. So that's all I have from here. Very good. All right. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Thanks, Mr. Weeks. All right.